Grow Where You're Planted by J. Gabrielle Chapter 2 Out in Public Excuse you? replied J. Anne stuttered and stammered, unsure how to proceed. That is a very personal question, don't you think? she queried. Yes, yes, you're right. I don't know what I was thinking. Actually, I've been trying to find some lesbians. I really don't know how to find them. I apologize. No worries. Yes, you clocked me. What? I, I clocked you? It means your gaydar is working. You thought I was a lesbian, and you're right. Anne's shoulders lowered just a bit. She was visibly relieved. Her stomach was still in knots, though, and she could feel her heart beating through her chest. As they neared Jay's vehicle, she could feel her breathing become more shallow. She stopped and looked around for a place to sit. "'What's up?' asked Jay. "'Uh, nothing,' replied Anne. "'I just need a place to sit for a moment.' As they sat on a bench near the SUV, Jay continued. "'So why are you looking for lesbians?' Anne took a deep breath. Well, she started, after Key Largo closed, then faces and the leg, everyone just seemed to scatter. There was no meeting place, not that I knew of anyway. I know, we're everywhere. It's not like we're, our noses glow or there's any outwardly physical way of telling when someone is gay. Not that I can tell anyway. Oh, said Jay, I see. I know some lesbians to get together on a semi-regular basis. There are a few who smoke weed out back, I think. All in all, they're an okay bunch. Who am I that you should take my word for it, though? Anne thought, is she going to ask me to join them? They, they continued for a while in silence. Jake was really ready to get home. Jean, Jay's partner, would be fast asleep if she did not get home soon. Come on, she urged Anne. Can we go now? Are you still going to pat me down? I bet you'd like that, Jay replied with a smile. No, I'm just joking with you. I've got a partner, and I'm not comfortable feeling up strangers in public. I just like to say things that will make people smile. You're not offended, are you? No. Okay, responded Jay as she opened the passenger side door for Anne. Let's go then. The women rode in silence, each consumed in her own thoughts. They arrived soon enough, and as Anne exited the little vehicle, Jay gave her her card. Being a cannabis advocate, she carried an info card everywhere. She invited Anne to call next Wednesday if she could. Anne agreed to call and ran up the steps of her apartment house. When Jay got home, the house was dark except for the kitchen light. Jean had left a note on the counter for Jay. It read, Hope the park was nice. In shower or bed. See you soon. Love, Jean. Jay smiled and went to the bedroom. She could hear the shower. She slowly opened the handle of the bathroom door. Quietly, she eased the door open, letting the moist, warm steam escape. Mmm, she moaned. Come on in, Jean called to her. How did you know it was me? Come on in, you're letting the heat out. Okay, okay, need any help with your back? Yes, please. <laughs> Jay massaged the wet washcloth and bar of soap until the it was a ball of lather. She washed Jean's sides, shoulders, and back just above the curve of her hips. Turn around so I can do your front, she directed. Jean turned around, reaching for the washcloth. Get out now, you lesbian. I have to go to work in the morning. Oh, all right. Join me in the kitchen for some tea before you go to bed, she asked. Sure, honey. Go on now. Smiling, Jay quickly gave Jean a kiss on one of her breasts before rushing from the bathroom. To be continued.